welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. Today's tip literally changed the way that I use SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Differing import options can have a big impact on the way that we interact with the model once we're in Visualize. For us SOLIDWORKS users, there's really three applicable import options. We've got Retain Structure, Appearance, and Automatic. Retain Structure gives us the most control, but as a result, it's very resource intensive and time consuming to work with. Personally, I find that most of the reasons for needing to use this method can be resolved by proper appearance setup prior to import. Appearance import is a great option if you don't need to make any geometrical changes to the model while in Visualize. This mode is a particularly great option if you're just looking to quickly create a set of colorways showing a variety of different appearance options. I like to think of automatic as a good blend of those two. We have control over individual components, and that means that if I need to make a change to the appearance of one individual component, I can do that. Or if I need to move components around for the sake of an animation, I could do that as well. The downside to this method is that we can't quickly set every component of one appearance to another appearance, or so I thought until recently. Take this example here. My standard workflow is to set up all of my appearances in SOLIDWORKS, which I've done already. If I was to import this into Visualize using the appearance option, I could quickly replace one appearance with another as it groups the appearances as parts in the model tree. However, if I need more control, say I'm making an animation with this file, then I have to use the auto option to get the extra control. But I may still want to switch appearances around. Say I like this red plastic, but I prefer a visualize appearance instead, or I decide to change its color. With auto, I'm left changing each component one by one or copy and pasting. Here's where the game changer comes in. Let's say I want to change the appearance for all of the red high gloss plastic parts. I'll find an appearance that I like. Let's go with red acrylic and I'll preview it on a couple of parts to see if I like it. Just drag and hover. If I do, then I'll add it to the project by dragging it into the graphics area. Note here that I'm not applying it to any components just yet. Now we can return to the appearance tab. Remember that the appearance tab stores all of the appearance used in the project not the ones that are currently applied, unless you've deleted unused appearances. Now we see that we have the new appearance here towards the bottom, and I'd like to use that for all of the red components that are already assigned. So to make the swap, I'll first copy the desired material, right click or control C both work. Now all I have to do is simply right click on the current appearance and select assign appearance and it will show the name of the copied appearance. Now every component that had the high gloss plastic red appearance set to it is now switched to the new copied appearance. We'll see that the old appearance does not show any of the components, and the new ones now show all. And it's as simple as that. With this technique, in combination with automatic import, we have the control that we'll need to work with individual components, but the convenience of adjusting many components at once. So I hope this tip helps you as much as it's helped me, and speeds up your rendering process even more. Thanks for watching this CAD Dimensions Tech Tip, and I hope to see you back next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.